Hey guys, this is Mika with That Girl Saves. Today we are stuffing cash envelopes. Um, I'm going to show you how we stuff our cash envelopes um, and give you a little bit of a rundown of how it works. Maybe in a later video I'll show you like the whole, whole, you know, from budget to envelope process. But today I'm going to show you how I stuff them and I'm going to give you just a short overview. This way you can get started really quick and you can go ahead and start stuffing your envelopes the next time you get paid. So I'm going to show you a short overview of kind of what we do. So I have two envelope systems. You don't have to have two. You can have one. I have two because I'm forgetful. Here is my main envelope system. It has been well loved. This is your two for us. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit worn, but we love it. Um, so after all the bills are paid every week, whatever's left over is what goes in these envelopes. Um, this says food, mortgage, miscellaneous, medical, debt, and kids. So we have two funds in here that we don't fund exactly the same way that we would fund um, our envelopes every week. So mortgage doesn't get funded um, the same way every week and medical and debt get funded differently. So mortgage gets, um, the majority of the mortgage gets funded at one time and then every week we put in a little bit towards the mortgage. We don't have to put in every week towards the mortgage because we put that larger amount in one week and then we just put a little bit, you know, just enough to pay it. Um, for medical, we have an HSA. So this is almost, this is basically a sinking fund. Um, but we will put money in this, a little bit of money in this every week. And we won't spend anything out of it until we run out of money on our HSA card. And then we start using this money. Kids gets funded like every other week. But mostly when kids need something. So if someone has a field trip coming up, then I may fund it the week, fund it the week before. So they have money to get, you know, for their field trip or whatever. Um, or if the kids need shoes... I'll fund it. I know the kids need shoes at the end of the month. I may fund it all month so that at the end of the month I can buy the kids shoes and there's money in there. Also debt. We do our debt a little bit different. Actually, I'm going to come back to the debt. Um, so, this is the hard part. Deciding what you're going to put in your envelopes each week. Um, this is the part that you may have to, you're going to have to take some time to figure out. This is probably where you're going to make a bunch of mistakes. But, I mean, it's trial and error. You're going to work it until it works the way you want it to work. Um, one thing that you will need to do is you'll need to go through uh, a month's worth of expenses and see how much do you spend on food, how much do you spend on kids, how much do you spend on medical, how much do you sp spend on miscellaneous. We're not going to go into all those details today. Um, but what we do is we usually spend 60 on food. Like 60, I try to make my max. There will be, you know, like Thanksgiving or Christmas or there's a birthday party or something going on when I have to spend more than $60 on food a month, a, a week. But I try not to go over that. I really try to get under that if I can. Because any money that I don't spend in food, that, that extra money can go to debt for the next week. Um, so if I spend 40 out of my 60, then I can take that 20 and I can put it towards debt. Um, kids, I kind of fund it when I need to fund it. Um... I'm going to put in money this week for kids because I know kids are going to need basketball shoes really soon. So we'll fund that one today. Um, medical, like I said, gets funded um, a little bit, you know, every week. Um, and we, d we usually don't use that. Um, miscellaneous. Okay, let's move all these out of the way. Let's talk about miscellaneous. Okay, so you'll notice that some people do um, entertainment. They have an en entertainment envelope. Uh, some people have a restaurant envelope. Um, some people have um, other different kinds of envelopes. Our miscellaneous is all of those things. Um, we use this for um, if we decide we want to all go to the movies. Or if me and my husband just want to go to the movies. This is where we take that money from. Um, if we need batteries... We take that money from here. If we need, um, if there's a, I don't know, there's a birthday party and I didn't get a gift and I need to buy a gift, I take that money from here. So our miscellaneous budget is basically anything that we forgot <laughs> about. So that's what we use our miscellaneous budget for. Um, so today, these are the four that I'm going to stuff. I'm not going to stuff any of the others. 
um, just because I've kind of I kind of don't stuff them like I said I don't stuff them every single week um, but let me talk to you about debt real quick whatever's left over in not in whatever's left over in food and miscellaneous is gonna go in to the debt um, every week so anything left in these two categories goes into the debt at the end of the week. Sometimes I put a little bit back in the debt. Depends on like if this is a week where we've got a lot of extra money, then I'll put some money back into the debt and just let it sit there. And then at the end of the week, when I empty out this one and this one, I'll add that to whatever's already in the debt. Like I said, debt debt also is one that doesn't get funded every single week. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to stuff my envelopes so this week uh oh this week um miscellaneous miscellaneous is getting eighty dollars so that's for the week now if there's anything left over from miscellaneous that money's gonna go into my debt envelope okay um, medical this week I'm putting in $80 for medical like I said we're saving up for when our HSA runs out kids kids are getting $60 this week and food is also getting $60 oh and I guess I didn't tell you we started with $280 and then now as you can see Move this over. Ta-da! Those are my envelopes. And this is how much is going in each one. Okay, so why do we do this? We do this because swiping your card is easy. Swiping your card is easy, and when you're swiping your card, you don't have a connection to what you're spending. Oh, you know, if I'm in the store and I'm going to swipe my card, I might buy a pop. I might buy ice cream I might buy all other kinds of things when I only went in for one thing maybe I went in because we needed um, some batteries and I was gonna swap my card for batteries but if I go in with cash I'm gonna spend less because I'm actually going to have to hold this money in my hand and give it to someone that's gonna make me think about oh wait that's twenty dollars I want to get some change back from this I want to still have some money left over in my miscellaneous uh, envelope I want to still have some money left over for this and that but when you swipe your card there is no connection to you and that money when you have cash and when you only spend cash you look you take a, a much closer look at what you're spending and so that's why I definitely try not to swipe my card this is why I take the money out and make sure that it's in envelopes because if I put it all in one place together I'm gonna spend it I'm not gonna know what goes where um, this this is how we do it guys this makes our life easier I don't have to worry about if I have money for uh, the field trip I don't have to worry about if I have money to buy medicine I don't have to worry about if you know if I need to run to the store because maybe I forgot to get milk or this week <laughs> the milk burst <laughs> so uh, you know I don't have to worry about having money to be able to do that because I've already put money back and here's another thing when these envelopes are empty you're done the money's gone when the money's gone you're done spending and when you have a card, it's so much easier to just swipe that card. But when you don't have any money, you're finished. That's it. Your week's over. <laughs> don't spend any more money for the week. Um, so that makes you think about, um, you know, being careful with your money, being a good steward over the money that you have. We've had weeks where we ran out of money before. And, you know, it's just gone. You got to wait till the next payday before you can do anything. So this and that's a lesson that you'll learn as you budget as you go through. You'll learn that if you spend it all, then it's gone and you're just stuck until the next week. So, you know, this helps us. This helps me, especially for somebody who is a spender. I am a spender. My husband is a saver. Um, if you've gone through uh, Financial Peace University, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm a free spirit. I'm going to spend it all. If I've got money in front of me, I'm probably going to spend it. So... The benefits are I'm a better steward over what I have to spend um, when I have cash. You know, it, there's just a different feeling about cash. Um, so, 
guys uh that's it i'm done um if you've got any questions leave it down in the comments guys i love to help you like i said we've been doing this for about a year some things we're really good at some things we're not that good at yet but we're still working on it and we're still paying off that debt and doing the best that we can because we want to live like no one else so that later we can live like no one else so guys if you've enjoyed what you've watched hit that like button give a thumb give us a, a, a thumbs up and join us come and join us and pay off debt and save some money and live great on a budget because being on a budget doesn't mean that your life sucks. It really doesn't. It really gives you freedom. So if you've liked, if you've, if you like what you've watched, join us, guys. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the su subscribe button. I'm here every week posting videos on Sundays, and then we have a few miscellaneous videos that come out during the week. So, guys, have a good weekend, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.